Greetings and salutations! This is Jason Silverine, and I'm playing a bit more Witches X Warlocks. And in this one, it's Jason Nightshade. <laughs> Apparently, our main character is an absolute ditz with a um, pretty bad memory. That hits a little too close to home! Okay. The windows of my house are brightly lit, and when I try the door, it swings open or inward with ease. Which means. Damien! I'm home! Welcome home. I hear my housemate Damien shuffling down the staircase, welcoming me back with their shy smile. Help me! Huh? Oh, tonight didn't go well? <sighs> the worst. Tonight was just yet dreadful. Um, I can try, but I don't know if I. You see? Matchmaking isn't my forte. I never needed the help before, so. Not matchmaking, of course. I don't need any help with matchmaking. The best matchmaker in Twimamere High. And I intend to keep it that way. Uh, well, studying, studying. Give myself a frightful uh, thinking about the possibility I might be expelled from school. Don't you know? The exams are on Halloween, which happens to be next week. Of course. Of course I do. Everyone does. Hang on. Wait. Don't tell me you just found out. I look at them teary-eyed. This isn't the most opportunity moment to ask, as Damien must be busy with his own studies too. But I gave Zero a promise, and I intend to do everything I can to keep it. And studying together is more fun anyway. Damien! Most dependable and studious friend I have, you're my only hope. My housemate both looks embarrassed yet happy at the same time. And that's when I knew I had exactly where I wanted them. Really? You see. If I cram all these books by myself, I'll probably end up setting them on fire, and then catch fire myself, then die miserably. Please. You've got to help me. You've got to help save me from my ultimate demise, please. Damien hesitates, but only for a second before nodding, just as I knew they would. I'll try, and I'll do what I can to help you. Thank you. For a moment's notice, I fling my arms around them in a big cheerful hug. Be careful. I'm still not a finished assembling the parts. I jump away at once, careful not to bump off a limb or two. All right. You're already doing maintenance again? Yes. My previous arms were falling off and one of the knees started creaking. I had to buy new parts from the human shop. That's where you've been. That one shows concern. This one is kind of curious. You know what? So that's why I couldn't talk him to come in tonight's matchmaking party. Yes. I heard that the human uh, shop was running a sale and since I need to replace body parts anyway. Mm. Sale better have been a good one then. They give me a soft affirming nod. Uh, the, ever, the human shop is selling everything at a discount, from uh, body parts to potions. Right. I stamp my fingers with both hands. The next step in my master plan for passing exams falls into place in my head. I remember. That reminds me, I should go to the human shop to buy potions. I'm all out, and I can't cast any spells without them. All right. It's a good idea, but are you really sure you can afford to? Why? Whatever you mean. Aren't you kind of broke? Oh. Uh, You're right. You've already spent all your allowance on hosting matchmaking parties, right? Yes! Yep, that evil spirit only wanted the most fancy stuffs and wouldn't give me a rest until I complied. How? Wait, uh, how do you know that? Well... Because yesterday you had to borrow money from me for lunch and a little extra for a night snack. I forgot! Oh, this is bad, really bad. Even if I learn enough spells to pass Halloween exams, it won't do me a lick of good if I don't have the potions I need to cast them. There's no way I have enough time to concoct all, all, concoct all the potions I need while cramming spells simultaneously. That has been a... Um. Listen, I have an idea. Yeah. Maybe. If you need to earn money to buy potions, maybe you can start asking Mr. West at the human shop for a part-time job. How? Are they hiring? Exactly. I heard Mr. West needs more hands. They're attached to living, bo living bodies. I mean, to help out because of the big consignment of corpses this shop received. Um, With everyone busy studying, I think you have a good shot at getting a job there. If you want to, that is. Perfect! Perfect, I'll head there once. Wait. After you wake up tomorrow. The sudden sift in tone took me by surprise. At the very least, I put on a good pouty face. No. Go to bed, you look exhausted. You need a rest. But... I'm serious. You see... If you don't go, if you won't go to bed now, then I'm not going to help you. Wow! Wow! Such an 
surprisingly assertive threat coming from you. Uh, I'll do what I need to. All right. All right, all right. I know you mean the best for me. Yes. Heading to bed now, my liege. Take an exaggerated bow and Damien laughs softly, but doesn't leave their spot until I've gone all the way upstairs and into my bedroom. Ah, maybe Damien is right. I'm way too sleepy now to be applying for part-time jobs. If I actually want to get up, uh, getting hired, and my bed looks so soft and warm and inviting. My eyelids suddenly feel like a ton of bricks. Tomorrow I'll work really, really hard. Tomorrow. Darkness takes me gently to its sweet embrace. Uh, eight hours of under, under, un, uh, eight hours of under, uninterrupted beauty sleep is the most magical spell in the world. I went to bed last night feeling like a little bottomized zombie with a head stuffed full of decomposing brain matter. This morning I stretch out my uh, arms, fully resurrected as a lively, useful matchmaking genius. The incomparable, the one and only. Sing heartily as I bounce down the stairs. Good morning, Jason. You look energetic. Yeah. I am energetic, that's why. I feel like I take on anyone and everything. Excellent. Even Mr. West in the human shop? Uh, Aren't you applying for a job at the human shop today? Well, Since you're broke, you need money to buy potions, but you need to cast spells, which you need to pass the ha exams on Halloween? Oh. oh, no wonder I'm in a good mood. I forgot. I forgot all about the exams of potion casting spells and being broke. I remember I count each little terrible to-do list on my fingers and my cheery good mood evaporates like the fine mist in the morning sun. See you later. I'm late, I have to hurry. See you later, Damien. Yes. Good luck. I hear Damien call softly behind me as I dash out the house. All right. Good luck. Yep, I'm gonna need it. Ding ding ding. The cracked antique bell chimes eerily as I open uh, sorry, I push open the creaky old door of the human shop. The shop is as empty and sound as an open grave, which means it isn't open yet, probably. I love the no return sign on the front. <laughs> Looks like I may get just in time. Hello? Oh my. My my my, what do we have here? A cutie has appeared into my parlour. Behind the shop counter stands a little girl, her chin on the edge of her palm. She's eyeing me up as a spider to, to a particularly uh, delectable fly. Herbie! Today's birdie just arrived, it's still fresh, being alive and all. A voice echoed lightly through the shop and somewhere upstairs a, a voice an unseen voice hollers back. I'm busy, Carmilla. Buttrich yourself. Butcher? No way. I'm not wait, wait, I'm not produce. Mm -hmm. She tilts her head pointing to the side with an obvious dubious regard. But. Are you quite certain? You look a lot like produce to me. Oh. I am no mere human. You will behold in your company the incomparable, the one and only, Jason Nightshade. Nightshade, huh? So you're a witch? Yeah! You know it. Mm. But why haven't I seen you in the school before? Um. You go to Dimmerware High too? Huh? You really are a student, eh? You know that? Went to about asking. Strange, I thought I invited everyone to my match painting parties at least once. Oh. Matchmaking? Oh, you're that nightshade. The charming girl straightens up and dazzles me with a professional sunny smile. Welcome. Hello there, my name is Camilla. How may I assist you today? You see. You see, I'm looking for a job. Huh? Nah? If you're a witch, you know you have exams in a week's time. For the last time. Also, I am a witch. Oh. I know I have examples a week, but I'm really kind of broke. Those gaudy gatch making sorries must have cost a pretty penny. Yes! Yes, which means to me I cannot afford to buy potions. Which means you cannot cast spells. Well. Which means I won't be able to pass the exams even if I know how to cast spells. Huh? Even if. Um. Even though. Which means. I want to uh, calculate my own fortune circumstance. And so. You'll be the first witch ever to be expelled from Dumbo Hive for not being able to cast a single spell. Right. Exactly. <sighs> I mean, exactly what I don't want to be. Now. While I understand your trials and tribulations, I can't help you. Why? You know? You see, Mr. West, the proprietor of the human shop, already has someone to run the store from, and you're looking right at her. But... I need the money! Yes? Who doesn't? 
this point we tried desperate to blow up the first open smile. Maybe. Maybe could I work for you? Mm-hmm. For me? Both for our eyebrows raise an interest. Yes. So what is intelligent and is clever you? You shouldn't be working for others. You should have others working for you instead. Wait. You mean as a manager? You see. Not simply a manager, think bigger, supervisor, director, visionary leader. You're right. True, I do belong to an ancient and distinguished mobile family. Yes. The common people should serve me, not the other way around. Yeah. And I can't believe a rider is making girls beautiful you stand behind a counter all the time. Right. I'm wasted way behind the silly table, aren't I? Naturally. Definitely. You see. Your brains and your locus, if the proprietor has you out and about, increasing and charming the customers, I bet the turnover of the human shop would increase tenfold. Huh? Only tenfold? Of course. Hundredfold. I like it. You make many excellent points. I like the way you think. Yeah. See, I would be quite useful to have working for you. Please. Put in a good word for the proprietor for me, please. Mm -hmm. I'll try. No guarantees. She winks. Herbie! Today's produce wants to work for me, and I like him. Can he? What? Work for you? Mm. Please? Gosh. A voice suddenly so sugary street. I, uh, sorry, sugary sweet. I that I feel like a diabetic going into a cardiac arrest just listening to it. Oh, all right. And so that means you'll help me have to pay my salary and all. Oh, all right. Mm -hmm. And that also means you have to give me a raise. Excuse me. Yes. Because I'm his supervisor now, aren't I? You can't pay me and him uh, me the same as him. What? Oh, all right. Camilla turns back to me, her hair bouncing lightly against her shoulders. She claps her hands together dramatically. Congratulations! On your new job! Amazing! Was it magic? Of course! Of course it is. Vampiric magic, to put simply, my very own brand. And the devious little notion strikes me. How? How did you become so impossibly good at it? Practice, practice, practice makes perfect, you know. I'm sure. You're being way too modest, I'm sure. She presses her lips against the back of her index finger. Maybe. Maybe I am. There's a lot of talent involved too, naturally. Can you teach me? Can you even teach it to a witch like me? Of course. If I wanted to, why would you want to learn it anyway? Well... I was thinking it might be useful for asking the proprietor for a raise. Yes. And just for the, ex I mean, just for the sake of my Halloween exams. I'd never be so grateful, Camilla. Please. After all, you're the only vampire in the world who's intelligent enough to teach me magic in just a week, please. Lay it in on a big thick here. She gives me a uh, forthful... Sorry, she considers me forthfully, tapping the tip of her chin before pausing to give her final verdict. Oh. Oh. All right. It could be you have some talent for it too, we'll see. Once a day, your character work part-time and earn money. While working part-time, some events may occur that can be solved using the right magic spell. Solving these events will earn you extra money. Choosing the part-time job from activity menu, you can work an extra shift. 